What's up beautiful people? This is Mike from My Guess Well and I hope you all are having an amazing day. Today's video, I'm going to be answering the question that you guys have been asking a lot about the OLED TV's performance in the bright lit room environment and a lot of windows and sunlight. So I want to show you guys my setup so you can see this is my living room and I have three big windows on the right side and this is perfect day to record this kind of video because this is sunny day and it's about 3 30 p.m and you can see the sun shining super bright it's texas sun so it's really harsh and really bright and you can see my ceiling fan lights are also on because i wanted to make sure that i expose my room with a lot of brightness around my tv so we can see like how it was going to perform in the living room environment like this where you have big windows and sunlight coming out of the windows and how it's going to perform so make sure to hit the like on this video guys because that's going to help me a lot and also consider subscribing to the channel because that's going to help me to make more content and thank you so much for already doing that so now let's get into the video and talk about what's going on so that's the lg oled g1 evo wall mounted 65 inch and I have it wall mounted and playing the uh, gallery uh, pictures right now that I have on the uh, LG OLED TV that you can go in gallery and play. But this is something that is not the right picture mode because you're not going to be using your gallery picture when you're watching the TV. They are traditionally usually really bright already. They are for the demo purpose only. But still you can see when I go on the side about like 40, 45 degree angle. You can see those windows reflection even though there's so much brightness coming out of the TV and same goes for the left and right side. You can see my windows are totally visible and uh, you can barely see anything. That's only happening when you go on the sides but see in the front, head on to the TV, it is totally fine. It's just amazing looking TV and there's no issues whatsoever. So this has to do something with the placement also, how you're going to place your TV. So if you place your TV, because I know you must be buying OLED TV or any TV and you're concerned about the TV performance, how it performs in the bright room environment, you can see the sun shifting and there is all the sunshine coming on the TV console and the TV itself and it's performing totally fine in this environment. So why it is performing so good in the uh, angle where I'm at right now, because this is how you're going to be watching your TV. Also, if you go on the left and right a bit, it's fine. But as soon as you go really off angle, that's when you're going to see those windows and uh, you're going to see all the windows if you go left and right, right? So what you can do is suggestion, place your TV not in front of the, these windows. So let's say if I move this TV in my situation, this is the only place where I can wall mount TV and this is designed so that I can place the TV here. And in front of the TV, I don't have any big windows. So this is the perfect placement I have. So I have no issues about it. You can see my living room right here. This is the seating area and I have uh, no windows which are facing the TV. So first thing you can do that. And if it get worse and you have, this is the only option where you can mount and you have big windows in front of you. So what you can do is you can get the blackout curtains and you can place them for the daytime. But I know a lot of people be like, oh, I don't, I want some sunlight, right? You can let the sunlight come from the other windows, but the windows that are facing the TV, make sure you have something blocking the sunlight. Otherwise, you're going to have that uh, window reflection and you're going to have that light coming out of the TV as if like, you know, you're watching the sunlight on the TV or you're watching the windows on the TV. You don't really want that happening. So if you are in that kind of situation where you have the living room and with the big windows and sorry, I apologize for my voice right now. I'm not feeling well. So just trying to get better. But if you really have this kind of situation, uh, make sure to have the blackout curtains. That's going to help you a lot. And also what I said earlier, like find a placement where you don't do not have the windows facing your OLED TVs, because otherwise you're going to have all of that reflection coming on your TV screen. So that's all I have from this video, guys. Just wanted to share with you because I know you guys must be about to buy a tv or in that decision making process so i just wanted to show you this not a sponsor just my uh, experience of you know having this tv in the living room and how you know it's not disturbing me because i do not have windows facing in front of the older tv and also i showed you guys how it's gonna look like uh, if you have the windows in front of the TV. So I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please make sure to hit the like on this video and consider subscribing to the channel. And I'm going to be putting more content soon. So see you in another one. Until then, peace out.